Have you ever come into a small town and all of a sudden you realize, I should slow down? I mean, you're just kind of in the driving zone and, and you start to slow down as they're slowing down, trying to get to the speed limit. Sometimes you may coast a little beyond the speed limit. You see that police officer just around the corner watching you. All of a sudden, you hit the brakes a little bit harder. You look at your speedometer. You're starting to think, what was the speed limit again? You're wondering, do all my brake lights work? Am my seatbelt on? And all of a sudden, all these traffic laws are just, just going through your head and you're checking them off as you're going through because you just saw a police officer. And then you go past him or her and they follow you. Now you really stiffen up and you become that overly cautious 16 year old new driver making sure you do everything right. It's almost as if we become better drivers when we realize that there's an authority around. It's kind of like kids in a classroom. The teacher leaves her a couple minutes and comes back and there's chaos. It's like athletes when the coach leaves and all of a sudden they no longer are doing the drills at, with precision, but rather they're just kind of having a fun and goofing off. It's no different than a young mother who leaves to go to the bathroom and comes back and finds complete chaos or flour spread all, out the kit, all throughout the kitchen. It's as if when we forget that there's someone watching, we start to make the wrong choices or we start to relax. But our desires do the right thing. Isn't that your desire? I'm always trying to figure out what the right thing is. And God is saying the right thing is to follow me, to, to follow my precepts, my principles, the expectations I have for you. If you apply those in your situations, you'll be doing the right thing. And what is the right thing? It's called wisdom. You see, all of us really would like to be wise, wouldn't we? Well, how do we do that? In Proverbs 9 verse 10, it says this, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. Did you get that? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Fear of the Lord, that always makes us upset because I want to think of God as a loving Father, not as some overbearing, authoritative figure that's just, pressing down on us, forcing us to do the right thing. Well, he is our loving father. And as a loving father, what do we want to do? We want to love him back because he loves us. And even though my father was very loving and my mother was very loving, there's also a role of authority that they had to play. House rules, whatever you want to call it, there was an expectation and out of my love for my parents, I wanted to love them back by following the rules. You see, that's what wisdom is. Recognizing that our Heavenly Father actually has authority in our lives and that all of a sudden it's not what I want to do, not what's comfortable for me, not what's easy for me, but rather what does God want me to do? How does he want me to live? How does he want me to react? How am I supposed to spend my finances? How am I supposed to deal with this relationship problem? How am I supposed to stand up or sit down? How am I supposed to talk or speak up or maybe be quiet? It's all these things. What's the right thing to do? And that's wisdom. And the beginning of wisdom is recognizing that your heavenly father has expectations for you. Not to overwhelm you, but so that you can live a wise life. So this week, let's try to live a wise life by doing the right thing, not by how we perceive the right thing is, but how God perceives the right thing is, recognizing his authority, that he has a place of authority in our lives, and our goal is to honor him in those decisions. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, help us do the right thing so we can do the wise thing. And Lord, reveal to us the right thing, the things that you would desire us to do, and give us the courage to do it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, have a great day, and we'll see you next week. Bye.